It's a beautiful day at sea, um, which is really exciting. It's so nice today. I'll show you the view from my balcony in a moment. But it's so good. So we're going up to breakfast. We're having breakfast at the Mason Jar. And then um, we're just going to do activities on the ship. So we're going to chill by the pool, get in the jacuzzi, have a little swim, relax, um, go on the zip wire and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really excited. I'll show you the view. It's like the nicest, nicest day ever. It's like perfect. So as we come out on our balcony, look how nice it is. It's beautiful. We'll probably be in lunch back here like we always do. And I have shown you before in the first video. But I'll show you again. This is the ultra spacious one, so on the hump. It's like the larger, the larger balcony. And as you can see, there's like tons of room. It's really big. So pretty. So this is Rebecca's outfit today. Looking beautiful as ever. Colour coordinated. Pink, white, pink. No? Pink, white, pink. Pink, sort white, pink. White. <laughs> Very nice. Deck 12. Back here for brunch, breakfast, lunch, brunch. And we're by the window again. We were by the window last time. It was really pretty when we were going, but we'll buy it again. Looks nice. So we have the jalapeno cornbread, which is what we had when we had dinner. We've got these saltine crackers, and then we have the Cajun butter, was it, Owen? I think so, yeah. Cajun butter, which is really good. And this is like a light honey whipped butter, which was also really tasty last time, so I'm excited. Here's the chicken and waffles. Looks so tasty. Look at what they've like, done on the fried chicken. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's different. And then here we have the this is maple syrup. Yeah. And then this little one, look how cute it is. It's hot honey. Aren't they so cute little jars? And then Aaron's got the same. We've both gone for the Alvis stuffed French toast, <laughs> stuffed with bananas, peanut butter, we have bacon, maple syrup. No way, I'm conquering this. Aaron's done the same. No way, you're conquering it. Is it too much? Maybe you should. <laughs> Good. Goes across here. How steep it is. So steep. I didn't die. How was it? Yeah, it's great. You sure? Yeah. Honestly, the worst bit, the worst bit is when you um, you go off the, yeah, yeah. as soon as you go off the edge, just like you're just sat down in the chair. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> got it in all its glory. <laughs> well done! You did it! Yeah. <laughs> you know how scary that is? You did it! Oh my god, that was so <laughs> Do you feel good that you did it? I'm glad I done it, but I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Why? That bit at the end. I looked down! I looked down! I almost didn't make it across. Did you see? She was like, put your legs up. She was pushing me back. I was like, why is she pushing me back? 
Well done, you did it. <laughs> see how much more fun you have when you conquer your fears, see? Yeah, but I feel shit. You did a great job. Great job. We bought the smaller version, obviously, much smaller version. And you can see, here we go, we have the slide that goes all the way down. Oh, look, it's even on the inside to the bottom there. And then you've got the zip wire in the middle, which we did. You've got a Flow Rider Sports Court. Um, what's it called? Mini Golf. Everything on the top and in here. Oh, you can actually see the Central Park through the middle. And you've got all the pools. This is Solarium here. Yeah. Got all the water slides, you've got this one with the ring, we're gonna go have a look. And then you've got the big TV. It's cool. We might live in it, Aaron. I'm back on the balcony in our room. Um, we've done the zip line, both of us. Aaron really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, but I found it terrifying. Because when you get up to the top, you look down and it's a long way down, a long, long way down. And then when I went across, I made the mistake of looking down again, and it was terrifying. And then at the end, she goes, oh, put, put your feet up, and I thought, what? And she would put feet up, put my feet up, and I went back, and I thought, I was like, I don't want to go back, like, I don't want to go back hovering over that huge drop. Um, but it was fine. It was fine, I was really shaky when I got off the <laughs> and I was gripping that so, so hard. Um, and then you would have seen the slide that went down, um, I was going to go on it, but I needed a t-shirt to go on it. Um, and I have like this little camisole, camisole top on. Um, and then for the zip line, I had to wear Aaron's t-shirt um, to go on it, just because you have like the harnesses and stuff, and they don't want it to like rub and rub and hurt you. Um, so that it was really, really fun. Um, breakfast at the Mason jar was really good, so tasty. Uh, I don't know what I preferred, the fried chicken waffles or the stuffed French toast. I think the fried chicken waffles. It was really, really nice. Um, Aaron's gonna go off to the gym and I'm gonna go to the pool. It's not actually that busy, weirdly enough. I'm gonna get in the pool, have a little swim. I'm getting the jacuzzi. I might do the water slides. Um, I don't know if I film it this time. If I don't, I'll film it next time. I will film it at least in one of the vlogs, the water slides. And then I think, and then I'll just chill and read my book. I'll probably come back here and read my book just because it's nice to have the, the balcony and the space and it's quite a nice area. Yeah, I'm gonna go put on my bikini and get in the pool, which is gonna be good. Nice and relaxing and it's really warm. It's a bit windy, but it's like really hot. So um, that'll be nice. Love a sea day, love, love a sea day. I'm still full from breakfast though. <laughs> Probably have lunch soon. <laughs> Even though I'm full, that's what you do on a cruise, right? Just eat, eat, eat and eat more. <laughs> saw some of the um, parade they had like an angst away parade um, but we couldn't see much of it just because of where we were but um, obviously it'll be on again next week so next week we'll just go and see it again um, and then we'll get like a better view which would be good but I have my bikini on ready to go do the jacuzzi do some water slides and just chill so I'm gonna leave the camera here but I'll see you when I get back back from the pool and I had to pop into the park cafe um, and pick this up because even though we're eating in Playmakers, which is another paid venue on board, I couldn't not have this. Look at that. Can you see it has mozzarella, pesto? Honestly, the sandwiches in the Park Cafe, which is included, are amazing. So I'm gonna have this before we go for proper lunch. And then Aaron's already out there on the balcony. I'm gonna go out and enjoy and join him and relax for a little bit, read a bit of my book before we go out to the company. And I just wanted to mention, I know 
this week I have been going to a lot of the paid places, um, the, a lot of speciality dining um, that you pay for, like breakfast you pay for, um, where we go and playmakers, dinner every single night. However, there are tons of free places on board and there is a main dining room um, and there's loads of other places on board. The park cafe is free and you have all of these, it's all included. Um, same with the wind jammer and on the Mexican place that I showed you that we had lunch one day. Um, and then we have cafe promenade um, down in the middle, there's Sorrento's pizza. There's loads of food places that are included and also like in the park cafe for example, there are eight different cold drinks that are included. So it's like there's a peach one, lemonade, iced tea, um, strawberry kiwi. So I just wanted to mention this because I was just conscious that I was showing all the speciality places because we've been doing a lot of paid things and if you haven't been on a cruise before um, and you're looking at something like the Wonder of the Seas, I just wanted you to know that there are tons of places included. So um, I will include more because we're here for another week, we're doing back to back cruise, so I will include more of the um, complimentary places. So I'm going to enjoy this and then we're going to go to Playmakers which is the sports bar in the boardwalk for a little bit of lunch before our show which is Effectors in the Royal Theatre this afternoon. dinner and dinner tonight is in 150 Central Park which is in the Central Park area and it's another speciality um, dining restaurant which is $64.99 per person plus 18% gratuity and 12% Spanish VAD um, because of where we are and so I'm really excited um, the menu looks really good I think I'm gonna have the lobster thermidor um, but I'll see what their recommendations are and see what else they have so yeah it's been a really great day today um, I'll talk about it a bit more later um, it's been a really great day today um, we went to see Effectors 2 the show and um, which was really cool and they had loads of different like visuals and everything like that really enjoyed that lots of special effects so that was really cool stuff I hadn't really like seen before on board a ship um, so that was really cool that was really good and then we also went to Playmakers for lunch and had lots of food which you would have seen which was really good um, so Playmakers you do pay for um, you just pay for what it's not like a cover charge or a, a standard amount you just pay for what you order and um, the food isn't that expensive there I think we spent it was less than $40 um, and as we have the unlimited dining package we get $20 each to spend there so $40 in total um, and the food's really good there. The onion rings were so tasty with the, oh, I can't remember, it was some kind of ranch dressing, so good. Um, and you get big portions, you get a lot of food. So it's time for dinner, so yeah, excited for this one. Looks really good, I'm excited for all of them, but this looks really good. So this is Rebecca in a lovely pink outfit. <laughs> Valentino's on as well, pink polish to her. Very pretty. <laughs> Hello everyone, so we went to go to 150 Central Park which is one of the other speciality restaurants on board here of the Wonder of the Seas um, but we have changed our plans um, so they've kindly let us change our reservation into to next week next week that's really nice because I turned up and I was going to go on my own because Aaron's feeling a little bit sick um, and they let us move it which is really great because it's so nice in there and it's so nice and fancy I really wanted Aaron to experience it so I think I'm just going to go up to the Windjammer actually and get some food 
Um, or I could do my time dining in the restaurant. There is that. I could go into the restaurant and do my time dining. Mm. Let me make a decision. I have a think. Um, you can see piles of clothes and stuff there. We're starting to get a little bit sorted for tomorrow because we're changing rooms. We did want to keep this one. However, when I booked, it wasn't available. So we are moving, but um, it's really easy. We don't have to pack everything into suitcases. We can keep our clothes on hangers um, and they will help us carry it across. And that's really helpful and really useful. Um, so that's great. And yeah, so I think I might go into the main dining room. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll see how I feel in a moment. Um, but, but yes, I am excited to go to 150 Central Park next week when Aaron's feeling better and he can experience it with me because I sat down and they gave me one like this big egg chair at the front and they were like, oh, don't worry, we'll look after you and all that. They're really nice. This is huge egg chair. And I just looked across at this other huge egg chair and I was a bit like in my head like, oh, I wish Aaron was here because it's just not the same experiencing it on your own because obviously you want to share those experiences together. Um, so that's really nice and that's really great. And I'm going to get some food because I am hungry. <laughs>